The plane crash that killed a rising star in the world of music and film. Reaction today after Aaliyah and eight others were killed when their plane went down. Good evening, I'm Lauren Glassberg and for Sandra Bookman. And I'm Tim Fleischer. The plane just after taking off for Florida in perfect weather suddenly plummeted to the ground. Investigators now saying one of the engines apparently failed. Along with eight passengers, Aaliyah, a young Brooklyn native and a talented singer and actress. Jeff Rosten is live in Times Square with more on her life. Jeff. And Aaliyah had a huge following not only here in New York City but nationwide. Only 22 years old, this pop sensation uh, was a popular singer. She was an actress in some movies recently, even a Grammy nominee. Tonight, her family is in mourning, fans asking, why her? Relatives in shock outside Aaliyah's home on the Upper West Side. The R&B star lived here at the Century, Central Park West and 63rd. She was on a small plane heading to Florida from the Bahamas, where she was shooting a music video. Sweetest person you can know, very intelligent. She knew what she was about and she knew what she wanted to do with her life. Aaliyah's life started here in New York City, born in Bed-Stuy, Brooklyn. But as a child, she moved to Detroit, where friends today remember this young star. Aaliyah was my best friend. She was a beautiful person on the inside and out. And, um... I'm just shocked. Aaliyah's hits include Back and Forth and At Your Best. She acted in the movie Romeo Must Die and was slated to appear in sequels Hi. to The Matrix. But her life, her dreams, were taken away. On board the Doom Cessna, Aaliyah and eight others, including a representative for Virgin Records and a makeup artist. Investigators say one of the engines apparently failed. They crashed just short of a runway on Abaco Island. Members of her dance team arrived safely on a different plane. She's a beautiful person inside and out, and we're going to all miss her deeply. She will greatly be missed. You know, she had a great impact on many lives, and it was a great experience to, to share that time with her. The family, too hurt to speak on camera, but released this statement. Aaliyah's family is devastated at the loss of their loving daughter and sister. Their hearts go out to those families who also lost their loved ones in this tragic accident. Fans at the Virgin Megastore in Times Square say Aaliyah was a role model. She had it going with her music, her acting career. She had a lot going for a long, young girl with a lot of potential. This is another mark of the crash live from Times Square, a billboard for Aaliyah's new album. But you can see when Virgin Records heard about the accident today, they covered it right up. The bodies right now are in the Bahamas for family identification. We're live tonight in Times Square. Jeff Ross and ABC7 Eyewitness News.